Tracy Hayes, yeah. Elizabeth, you got one. Vivacious, your vibrations. Higher than five spaceships in my patience. You colder than ice glaciers and conversations. I guarantee I got the remedy and right playlist. Come in this space. I don't even want to be touched. Guess I'm a tease. I would rather play with your lust, but take it easy. I would never play with your trust. I value you as a person if we never do fuck. I know you never heard no shit like that. This is safe space. Baby, you can sit right back. Mental vacay. And if you choose to screw, I'ma bust it like an AK. You know how I chill, but it's another side to Trey Hayes. Sometimes you be my gravity. I feel you grounding me. I feel your energy. It be surrounding me. That's so profound to me. We need some boundaries. But we both end up wetter than a fountain be. We can get away. talk about taking steps and better in this relationship. I agree. The first thing we need to work on is communication. Because we don't. We don't know how to communicate. We don't know how to communicate properly. That's what I'm saying. Either way. No, it's, it's I feel like I communicate a lot. But you don't hear me when I'm trying to express myself until I'm to the point where I have to argue and fuss and fight and raise my voice and be standoffish and all that other stuff. Until I'm dismissive, you don't hear me. But I can sit down and have a conversation with you. Hey, you know, I really want to spend time with you. I really, you know, want to do more romantic stuff as a couple. Let's plan a romantic weekend together. And you don't hear it. Because the only thing you're thinking about is a bag. That's not the only thing I'm thinking about. And... That's how it feels, though. And the way you make me feel, I feel like as soon as you start off, it's whoop de whoop de whoop Like... It's too much. So immediately, I'm I'm on the defensive because you bark at me. And let's go back to getting the bag. Okay. I'm trying to build my brand. You knew this. 
I told you we're going to have to sacrifice some things in our relationship so that I can get where I need to get. You were okay with that. You understood. Yeah. But two then years what, ago. Hold on. Let me finish. I planned everything out. I told you what steps I'm taking to get to where I need to be, where I want to be. You were cool with that until it started happening. And my time, you know, was limited. You were fine with it. I told you up front so you know that there's going to be moments where we, we might not, you know, get to spend as much time. It might be in a passing type of relationship. Uh, and now I feel like now that I'm in it and it's happening, you can't deal with it. Right, but it's very, it's very neglectful. But Trinity, I also propose that we take a step away from the relationship. Because right. I knew that and I was going to get busy. Right. And then... You didn't want that. I didn't want it either. Exactly. But, and you but, never make it... Uh, uh, you Come on. I of course anybody can say, oh, let's take a step back from the relationship. And then freaking two days later oh no i don't want that blah 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 so come on let's be real let's be real with each other that's the problem it is, that's, it's, that's, it's not about it's it's really not going to be about taking a step back from this relationship because you and i both know we want this relationship unless i'm wrong on your we, behalf we do want it exactly so let's let, unless we want to break up let's not talk about it so that's something that she shouldn't even brought up. Okay? So do you want to retract that statement? I retract it. Or do we need to proceed? What I'm saying is, I'm trying to be a realist about the situation I was from day one. I knew that me doing what I was doing was going to require a lot of my time. I knew that at some point you were going to feel neglected in this relationship. I knew that because I know that what I'm doing is going to take up all of my time. That's why I and all proposed. I'm asking and all I'm asking is for a little bit of communication, a little bit more better communication. That's it. I don't want any more standing me up for dinners, standing me up for outings. I'm, I'm not seeing you for days on end. I don't want any of that. I would like to know that, A, even though you're busy, you're thinking about me too. That would be nice. Because I'm all for my business. I'm all for building my brand and doing what I need to do for myself. So I do understand you doing it for yourself. But this is a relationship. And at the end of the day, you're not going to always have this business to be running and chasing behind you do want a family do you of course i do so come on put put all your your rabbits lined up <laughs> whatever what the fuck ever in your case is rabbits because you don't just don't stop moving fuck ducks your rabbits put them all line them all up my rabbits are in the room But at the end of the day, when we're together, and it's good, it's good. So that's what we need to focus on. I'm just asking for a little bit more, you know, better communication. And I'm pretty sure what you're asking for me, I'm assuming, is for me, for me to be a little bit more understanding. And for me to have more patience with what you're trying to do for yourself. That's all I've ever asked. So now you know I'm listening. Now you know I'm listening. I trust you. So we're going to move forward. Good. You want to shake on it? <laughs> yes, let's shake on it. Fine. <laughs> love you, P.A. I love you, too. Are you done?
kind of day I had today. What happened? Um, Carmen told me she was pregnant today. Oh, for real? Yes. Good. Um, it's good, but it's not good. <laughs> I'm confused. She cheated on Jamie with <laughs> one of her friends. <laughs> yeah. Yo, are you fucking serious? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even like doing that. I know, but, I know, I know. Yes. I know. Wow. And then you have that shit and then you have I think I really do believe uh, that Stacy and Cynthia are just gonna part ways. So it's it's just a lot. Wow. I'm I mean I'm sure Key's gonna be happy about that. Damn I <laughs> You gotta feed me one thing at a time. <laughs> this is Jamie and Carmen shit. I'm surprised Jamie didn't hit me up. Like, wow. I mean, but that's a lot she, to, she to deal with. She can't tell you what she don't know about. Hey, yo. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm very what disappointed. What the fuck? Carmen? But see, didn't I tell your fucking ass was sneaky as fuck? Fuck! Wow. Uh, uh, the explanation she gave me was just not enough to cheat on your girlfriend. With her you coworker. With her employee. Even worse. <laughs> Good. I, haven't, I, you I mean, last last time I checked, Jamie owns her business. I mean, ain't no partnership in it, so. <laughs> like, what? I told you that girl was sneaky, y'all. I told you. I told you. I mean, I know shit happens, but that type of shit shouldn't happen. Mind you, they were just... Yo, they spend mad bread on trying to have a baby on their own. Oh, I mean, <laughs> she got one for free. <laughs> the fuck? I mean, not enough. I'm pretty sure could have made it easier on price. Jamie's pockets. <laughs> anyway, not my business. Whatever. Damn. I don't know what to say. We'll we'll have to see. She hasn't told. Do the dude. Either one of them. Yeah. See, and this is the type of shit you gotta be careful about. It. People be snapping. Yeah. You know, they don't, these shows <laughs> ain't on ID channel for no reason. Wow. But since they're going through all their stuff, what's going on with us? I know we're in a good place right now, yeah. but I think we should be talking about moving forward. Like, are we going to have a baby? Are we going to get married? Are we going to, you know, get a house together? What are we doing? We are moving forward. Just because those things haven't happened yet and maybe not as fast as you may want them to happen. If they haven't happened yet, that means they aren't happening. You don't know what's in the works, first of all. Secondly, we had this discussion before, T. Like, yo. It's like, 
suppose I was planning on taking that next step. Please. Suppose I had this well thought out, elaborate proposal plan. And here you are on a quarterly basis, damn near, asking me what's our plans? When we doing it? When we having a family? When we doing this? Like, yo, like, don't kill my vibe. For starters, I don't ask you often. I've probably asked you a good three times in four years. Every quarter you asking me. Every three months you asking me. Trust me. Well, well, you should have done it by the sixth month. Did you ask me? Look, you already know. I, I just want to know. And you shouldn't even want it that way either. Because now, to me, you know, if somebody's pressuring me into marrying them, I ain't going to say pressure. But if somebody has to constantly bring up the topic of marriage and family, you know, like, to me, I just feel like. You gotta let a person do them on their time. Because now, you know, suppose I ask you next week, suppose I ask you two months from now, like somewhere in the back of your mind, don't you think that, you know, maybe it's because of the pressure that I'm doing and not because I really want to, or I'm really 100% ready to ask you Right then and there. Asking me to marry you is not getting married the next day. So even if you ask me to marry you, we still have a large amount of time before we actually get married. Nah, Can't you that. just get ready then? We not about to be one of them nine year engaged couples. Nah. Mm -hmm. Nah. No, it's just, it's good to know that you're not ready. Oh, so that's how you're going to do it. Yeah. After four years, you're still not ready. And we're doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Four years. And I'm watching my friends get married and have babies and... You know, a big part of people's problem is they too busy watching what everybody else is doing? Not paying attention to their own? Yeah, this friend might be on the way to the altar. That friend may be, you know, about to deliver a baby. But guess what? At the end of the day, you don't know what's going on in that relationship. You don't know how strong and solid it is. So you looking in on somebody else's relationship, thinking they happy, and I mean, hopefully, your friends are happy. But trust and believe that you don't know what situation people are in. You don't know how people are hurt. And you don't know if people are happy. You don't know that. Are you happy is the question. If you're not happy, if you feel like I can I'm be happier. Moving, if you feel like I'm moving. I feel like I can be happier. If you feel like I'm moving too slowly then at the end of the day, we all gotta do what's best for ourselves. But I can't let anybody force me into, and I'm not saying that I use that word loosely, maybe I should change it, but baby, timing comes with everything. When the timing is right, it's gonna be right. But we rocking right now, we good, so that's it.
Sophia. Open up, it's us. I know you're here. No. Hey, wait. What's going on? Ugh, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Well. Talk. Well, you, me and Stacy are pretty much done. What? I think I'm gonna have to go forward with thinking about filing a divorce. Does she say anything? Or does she just roll out? She's like, I don't know what I'm He's getting hard. Tough for me, and I couldn't take it anymore. The disrespect, the alcohol, constant yelling. It was just becoming a burden. I was becoming really unhappy. All right, but I think you all need to go through a, a, another process before you just call quits on a marriage like that. You're probably right. But she needs to get help. But that's also too, if she agrees to do the help, because if she doesn't want to get help, then there's no point of that either. That's up on her. Exactly. You can't force somebody to. But is it worth it? Are you going to fight for the relationship? Or are you just going to sit on the couch and? I don't know. I feel like if she's willing to work it out, mm -hmm. I'm willing to do the same. You know I love her. I do. But I just can't deal with the, the alcoholism, the yelling. It's becoming, you know, how that can just end up becoming more, worse abuse. Mm -hmm. just, like, yeah, the mood swings and everything else. So, just um, you know. maybe we you, all need to get together. Yeah, and reach out to Stacy because she's acting fucking ridiculous to just in the in the marriage. Like y'all need counseling. Yeah, she needs therapy. She needs a bunch of shit. I agree. Yeah. She can't come back until she doesn't be happy. That's just what it is. Has she tried to contact you since? No, not since she's left. But she's probably just in her feelings right now. But you know, eventually, she will. Well, her drinking, she's not going to get in her feelings anyways. <laughs> yeah. She's going to drink herself till she sleeps and. We'll text, she'll call, but it will always be because she's been drinking, so. Yeah. Well, we're gonna figure this shit out together. So don't give up. Just yet. I'm trying, I'm trying, really. Uh, she's just really knocking me out. Well, I definitely understand everyone needs a few days, especially after something like that, but. You're gonna have to start getting out of the house so you feel a little bit better. Probably right. So, yes. even if it's us maybe just going to the park or doing lunch again or something, it's better than sitting and being upset and thinking about everything, mm -hmm. too. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right. But I'm not going to the fucking park, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're just saying, check out the squirrels or something. They're park. cute. <laughs> It might make you in a happy mood, seeing little squirrels jumping around. The little kitties playing. See? Yeah, they're never know. I'm going to get dressed. So give us a hug, though, because it looks like you need one. Get up a second. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm all right, I guess. So I need to talk. you guess? Yeah, I need to talk to you. No. Well, I kind of took a test and I'm pregnant. Yeah, pregnant? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, or I would not be calling you if I was joking. So what do you want to do about this? I don't know. I don't even have- You don't know. You don't even have any- I mean- anything. Well, I mean, at the same time, too, I mean, I have to talk to Jamie and figure this out, so. What do you think she's going to say? I don't know, but I'm going to keep it and just see what happens. And so, I mean, it's not really something you can keep in. It's going to come out sooner or later. I'm keeping, and I don't know if it's necessarily a good idea that you're in the picture. 
yeah so i don't think that you should even it should be me and jamie and i'm gonna have to i don't know you shouldn't be in the picture at all with this kid i know it's shitty but well i don't know but i'm sorry i think it's best for everybody that way That I mean that's all really there is to say. So well, I feel like we should talk about this more. I don't know, but I just want to call and let you know. And well, I don't know. It is what it is, so well, alrighty then. Alright. Have a good day. Yep. Bye. Bye. She's our first. Oh, her sweater's coming off. <laughs> I'll have to fix That's it. how it is, though. Come here. Come here, baby. We gotta give her a new one. Cat, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, I had a dog named Biscuit, so. I'm not naming the cat Biscuit. No, no, I'm biscuit. telling you, I had a dog named Biscuit, so it's some food. A food? Oh, name? you know, remember that? Caramel. Too much. No. Too much like caramel. No. It's true. 
Mamba. 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 Sounds like a boy's name. Well, listen. She's transgender, okay? She's transgender. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fat man. Don't mention it. <laughs> Sorry, I got me all day. Just Why didn't you have lunch? Why didn't you have lunch? I did, but the second I was gone, I missed What are you doing for dinner, Aunt's class? Well, we don't do that. This is our day. We don't do that. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. It's our day. Ignore him. Okay. Hello. What's up, bro? Chillin'. Chillin' with me. What's up? Bro, it's Sunday. Really? Really? You're fired, okay? I better not catch you on the street, okay? Oh. You fucking... You, you fucking pregnant? You're fucking pregnant? Fuck you! You fucking... You fucking him, you talking to him, you ain't got shit to say to me? It just happened. It, the fuck you mean it just fucking happened? It you, was... It's a fucking th it, you you got things that got to go that don't fucking just happen, bro. I'm sorry. The fuck, you not sorry. That's why the fuck you ain't want me to fucking answer it. Fucking provide for you, work for like all this shit I do for you, for us, for us. You wanna fucking fuck the fucking help? Fuck you crying for? Bitch, I don't. What the fuck? Don't be sorry now. I don't, I don't want your fucking crocodile tears. You won't fuck me, but you won't fuck his bitch ass, yo. All this change, everything I do, I do for us, for our family. That you said you wanted. And this is what you do? You're not mad at me because I ain't answer the phone. You mad at me because y'all couldn't chill. We won't even talk anymore. Any fucking more? You shouldn't have been fucking talking in the first fucking place, bitch. Yo. I gave you like everything. You know, it's taking everything. I mean, not smack the fucking stupid ass look off your face, right? You know how much pussy that like, gets thrown at me? Look at the. F look, yo, look at me when I'm fucking talking to you. You want to throw away four fucking years? A baby I was trying to give you to have it by my worker. My worker. I pay his fucking salary, yo. I know it wasn't worth it. It had to be worth it because you did it. But it's cool. It was him. stupid. But you know what? You're not going to get no child support because he's fucking fired, yo. You a dumb bitch, yo. You can get your shit, too. Get the fuck out, bro. You don't live over at his house with his fucking mom. He better hope he get the fuck out before I get to this fucking house. Anyway, I mean... I mean be out my fucking house by the time I get the fuck out. So, uh, how long you been with Shorty? Oh, really? Back. 
probably like a year, but it's been on and off for a minute. Sometimes we have our good days, and most times we have our bads, unfortunately. Or, or, what's up? Uh, so, I don't know how you feel about this, but, um, I know her. We had a pass. Like, pass like P-A-S-T? Like y'all had a history? Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. So, please, please give me the story, the details, but this is very, 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 very new to me. Look, I know she ain't saying nothing to you. She wouldn't say anything to you, but on some serious shit, she been stalking me. And it all started on the day that you signed. So, when I introduced y'all, she knew you since then? You go back a couple of years. Oh, my God. Me and Trinity, we were in a rough spot in our relationship. I dipped out. Dipped out with Leah. She never found out. Trinity didn't. And I just kind of ghosted her. I left her. Whoa, well, she, I still appreciate it so much, boss man. Like, the fuck? She didn't even keep it G with me. She didn't tell me nothing. Like, she sat in my face. We left. We talked about it. But we did have a suspicious conversation after we talked about the sign. And now that you, you're telling me all this, it's making me think. Brand new. She don't know she don't. Come on, man. Brand new. What does brand new have to do with anything? She don't know what she's doing. I just don't, don't like her. Just period. I don't like it. Did you, like, did you already sign and do everything? Like, yeah, I did. That was So you can't even take that for. back. No, I can't. Like, I asked you when I talked to you the first time, you didn't say anything. You know what? You didn't say nothing. You didn't have any problems. And now, all of a sudden, I introduce you guys, and now it's a fucking problem? I don't trust her. And I told you that. I don't like the vibe. I don't trust her. Period. Well, I don't. I, I don't She's understand. She's going to take advantage of you. Watch. Just, just watch. It's definitely making me think. She really was against me signing with you. She was talking a whole lot of crazy shit and I didn't understand where it was coming from and now it's all, it's definitely all clicking together. I mean, see, I didn't even know all that until you told me, but putting everything together, like she don't want to see me win. She is bitter about the way I left that situation. But damn, this is my business. She gonna mess my thing up because y'all had a, you know, a bitter past, like. All okay. I'm saying is I want you to be careful um, I feel like it was only right for me to come to you with this information, and I mean, whatever you choose to do with it, cool. Because now she she on some like trying to extort me and shit. Like she gonna tell Trinity if I don't give her twenty thousand dollars, like oh, fuck. She probably saying that because I spoke to her ass about the contract details. You know, when the in the midst of our argument. You know what? I appreciate you so so much. You gave me so so much information to go home with. And I'm definitely gonna talk to her. I'm definitely gonna handle it. Like, she's not about to fuck up our business, our money, and our, my respect for you is totally different than what whatever the fuck y'all had going on. But I really appreciate you telling me. I wish she would have told me first. It could have probably just. Because <sighs> you know what I mean? That's what it is. Like, shit like that happens. It's a small community. You know, we all. Yeah, I know the gays. You the know games. how it goes. <laughs> you know, ever since I seen her on the <sighs> Real devious shit, like it's like I said, it's only right for me to let you know what's up. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna if I'm gonna tell Trinity or what I'm gonna do because now she's trying to get money from me to shut her up. But I'm not really trying to give her no fucking money. Yeah, like that's crazy. I'm like trying to give up no money for somebody like for you, bitch. Like, oh. <sighs> this is very late. I thought I was coming here to get a workout, but I got a whole number. Oh no, the thing worked out. I'm gonna definitely go home and work out a little more. Oh, let me know how that goes. I definitely will, yo. I right. appreciate it. Crazy.
Yo, yo. Hey, boo. What's up, Lee? Lee, how are you? Oh, oh, good. Oh, you smell good. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I probably smell like left push up one, two, three, four or something. <laughs> What's up, babe? Um, uh, it's been like super bothering me our, our last conversation we had. And I would prefer to like come to some resolution. I want to get some understanding. Um, how do I want to start this? What was your biggest problem with my manager? I mean, I think you could have got offered a lot more money. Okay. So. Like you're talented. Like I really think that they could have at least gave you a hundred k. You know something. Mm, that would have been amazing. <laughs> you're worth it babe. yeah I definitely appreciate that um do you have you like talked to any managers or have you talked to anybody like not really no alright so let me say this because uh, I had an interesting conversation earlier today mm-hmm. so what I would like to know from you is is there anything you want to tell me and they want to that like what? I should know from you is there anything Dealing with any of my situations, dealing with my manager um, and my business practices and money or anything. Nothing going on? No, babe. Okay. Do you know Marlo? Yeah, you introduced us. You don't know her before that? Mm-mm. You don't know nothing about her before that? No, you introduced us, babe. <laughs> so... I'm gonna keep it G with you since you're not you can't keep it G with me. She told me that you guys had a pass, y'all was fucking, you know what I'm saying? And she died ghosted you back around the time where I met you. And uh I appreciate her being honest with me. I'm trying to figure out why you can't do the same thing. Okay, well, all of it's not not all of it's not what? Like what is all it? All of it's not a lie. So we did used to talk, but I just think you can get more money. Like, that's all I'm saying. Like, but I think, why can't you... I need... Okay, for anything I need, for any person in my life, I need trust and loyalty. And those two things well, baby, you I was are doing not... doing for us. What was you You're doing worth us? more. You're, you're lying to me. But you're worth more. I'm worth being lied to? But you're worth more money than that. But how many lies am I worth, too? Because I'm trying to figure out that. You're not I, worth being lied to. I'm not going to say that, but you're definitely worth the money. So you're not going to say nothing about Marlo, about the situation that I'm speaking about? You're just going to keep talking about money? We dated. And, that was it. That's over. So why didn't you say that at first? Like, and what is this money thing? What, I didn't what think did it was you, relevant. What did you do to go get some extra money? I've been trying to get extra money for you. Uh, how, how did you do that shit? I mean, I had to use... What I had, I mean, we, st- I mean, we can still get this money though. Like, okay, it's so for you. You want some whole other shit? Like, I'm not on for pulling licks. I'm trying to get some business money. I'm trying to build. But that's what we're doing. Positive relationship with people, trust and loyalty, two big things for me. And you just broke both of them. So, I came over here to see if you was gonna be honest with me and try to at least give you a chance because I was pissed and I had sat and thought about it for a while on the way over here. But you still showing me that you ain't going to give me but shit. But I'm doing it for you, though. It's not all about, you know, Marlo. No one cares about Marlo. Who cares if you're lying for me? Like, okay, you know what? You're not going to get it. And you're not going to get me either. So I wish you the best of luck. I hope you and Marlo figure it the really? fuck out. And y'all can't leave me up out really? of that shit. Really? 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 Really, really. All this, really? Delete my number. Don't pull that stalker shit on me. Oh, now I'm a stalker? I mean, that's what I heard. Go ahead, leave. Ain't I probably take her? Why you always try to hit my line up? Asking me for time, cause you trying to fuck. She like, I'ma bring a friend, you gon' make time or what? Stop begging for my time, girl, your time is up. Why you always trying to hit my line up? Asking me for time, cause you trying to fuck. She like, I'ma bring a friend, you gon' make time or what? Begging for my time, girl, your time is up She like, Molly, why you acting so brand new, though? I know you see me calling, let me through, though I'm like, girl, you always acting like a noodle Before I got the bag, where was you, though? Let's rewind time to a day when I asked you for your number and you played me Funny how time changed, ain't it? And now you 
you super mad, bitch, bad, I made it I bet that you hate me, but you need to stop calling my number before I change it And you wish you can go back in reverse time and just change it But we in two different places, see girls with different faces Do me a favor, go to my number and erase it. You always try to hit my line up Hello? Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from an inmate at Florida Correctional Institution. This call is subject to recording and monitoring to accept charges. Yeah. Florida? How the fuck you get to Florida? What you doing there? Yes, I'm Florida. Sir, I just need you to come get me. I'm trying to you later. Can you come get me? I, I got you. I got you. Let me make some moves and I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. Alright y'all. Where the fuck is my money? Where the fuck is my money? Yo. Chill out. No, you owe me my fucking money. That little stunt you pulled? Really? Look. Where's my money? I got you. But where is it? Fuck 20, I want 40. Thought I was crazy before, huh? You gonna give me my money. I need more. I need more. I want more. I need more. I need more. I want more. I just want what I need. I just want what I want. I just want what I want. I need. I just want what I want. 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 I just want it. Hold on, I don't need it at all. Fuck traffic, driver pull up for a call Spoiled little baby, but it's not my fault Mercedes star head too, I'm gonna start on Just what I want, fuck what you thought Call for every day of the 